Hello everyone and welcome back to the guide in Broken Liberty. I just forgot the game name. Um, today we're going to talk about morphing and mount. So basically in this game here you don't get mounts. You don't get mounts to like run around fast. You get something which is interesting. You actually turn into the animal and you get this ability already from level 1. So you don't have to like wait to level 20, 40 to be able to buy a very expensive mount. No, 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 no. You get these morphs already from day one. You create your character. The way you do is default, it will be on your uh, car. Well, it will be on your shift key. So when you press shift, it will transform you into a pet. Well, an animal morph. When you move and stop, it will automatically go out because it's not supposed to be a form that you stay inside all the time. It's only a form you're supposed to use when you actually move. So of course I can, I can stand still, but the moment I move, it goes out of it. But I can also, of course, use it while moving. And if I just keep moving, it will st stay in it. But the moment I stop, it goes out again. And that's why I guess they will call it a travel form because it's only supposed to be used for when you're actually traveling. And you have the default one, which is walking around, which makes you run faster. If you are in combat, your stamina bar here on the right side where my mouse is will go down and it will, it will go out of the form if you are in combat too long. Basically, so you cannot like escape from all battles like this. People can actually get your stamina down or monsters, and then you will get out of this form. But we have the standard walking form, which is making you walk fast. We also have, you can jump out from like any hates. And if you double click on your shift, it will, sorry, double click on your spacebar. It will transform you into this as well. So like double click on your spacebar and it transform you into a flying form. And then you can see on the left side, it has like different things you can do. Unmorph or ascend like I can fly up if I wanted, like with a cooldown, like fly up. Normally this will go down the stamina bar, but because I think we have wind right now, it doesn't go down. The moment you go down the water, you also have a morph for water. So as you can see, I turn into a turtle, which is quite cute. It's actually the first time I see it. It's quite uh, cute. Um, and again, you can see here moving. And if you press uh, your your morph spell one more time it goes very fast so as you can see we have traveling methods in this game by walking flying and swimming now you might ask wow what just happened uh, now you might ask what can we actually can we change them is there a way to change them there is if you press escape and you go in here to morph you will see here that you have um, you have dash, which is the one you use for running, glide for flying, and swim for swimming. And then you also have level up. You can basically see that you can level up the different ones. I am not 100% sure. Uh, I think you level them up by acquiring more. Yeah, I think it's every time you acquire more. I do believe. Yeah, you can see here. I'm not. I'm actually actually 100% sure. Morphs and uh, morphs add grow points and increase your growth level. Yeah. So basically, every time you unlock a new form, it's going to give you XP. So you want to try like get more. Yeah, this makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. So you have dash here, which is the ones that make when you run, you start with a wild. Uh, actually, I think you start with two of them. But you, you, I think you start with like three or two so you can like choose. But you have a wolf a wolf with armor saber shadow papuma and a bird keep in mind these pets change its color depending on your hair color so because i thought i would look like a cool gray wolf the moment i go into my form i'm a freaking red wolf because i picked a red haired character which i kind of regret i like red haired characters but now because of this it's like I don't want to be a red wolf. So my next character on Europe server is definitely going to be um, gray hat, I think. Just so my animals also become gray hell. But yeah, and the same here if I took like this shadow panda here, I would also be a red panda, which just looks weird. Um, yeah, and then you can see down here, you can unlock even more like a ghost wolf, iron wolf, this Fenrir, which looks like it's been working together with Loki. This Fierce Tiger, Ancient Tiger, Mystic Puma. Oh, this weird bird. A Rout. 
Tiger, a Rosette Popoma, a Talon. Yeah, there's all these different. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fun. You can even see on these here that how much more growth point I give you. For example, this one here gives me growth points 10, 15. Which was the level, I think, the level we saw here. Yeah, you can see every time you unlock them, you get all these growth points. Oh my god, a little unicorn. Like, can you imagine seeing like 10, 20 people in a raid or like PP running in this form? Jesus. And again, gliding, you also have, you start, everyone starts with the eagle. Pretty cool. Then I unlock this white goose. You can also get a raven. I would definitely be a raven if I had ravens. But I don't know where to find this one. But yeah, you also have this raven. Whatever this is. Another majestic. I have another eagle. Emperor eagles. No goose. A flying deer. Another flying deer. Yeah, okay. I think I'm done with naming them. And then we have swimming. Everyone starts with this one here. Then you can unlock this one through. I think I got it from dungeons or something like that. Also this one here. Yeah, that's like different. Oh, this one is pretty cool. It's like good sea la turtle. A lava turtle. Oh God. And then you have, well, yeah, okay. Beside of this, so basically that's, that's the entire mount system. You no, know, you can turn you into an animal to run faster. That's pretty much it. And again, when you fly, jumping over somewhere high, you double click space to go into your fly form or press shift to go into your travel form and water, you just go into the water and you will transform you. Yeah. Just on top of this, there is another thing here in the top here called special. When you play the game, you will unlock like different small fun stuff, which is called shape shifting. There's these playful ones here, which I had unlocked any one of them, but I can see like they have some different traits like jump and I think you can like, I don't know. But th there is these shape shifts ones here, which you can unlock through the game. I got all these from just doing the main quest, I think. Um, the thing with these is that it will actually transform you into this. For example, it will transform into this guy here. Uh, so now I can transform into him. And it says every time I press page up, it transforms into him again. The thing is like, you know, I think it's it's two things. It's like one of the things for why you can do this, is of course, role play. People, they like to transform into stuff. Just look at other MMOs where people, they really love to like being able to morph into some kind of like monster. There's another thing, because if I go over to other goblins now with this on, they will not attack me. The people who normally, like the red ones that normally would attack you, doesn't attack you because it actually transforms you to a real goblin, which the enemies the monsters think is a real goblin the same if i went over to like it's going to morph again and if i made myself into this spider here if i then went over to other spiders that normally would attack me they still they did they wouldn't attack me because they actually think i'm a spider the same if i go to these people here these butcher people you find in the gray claw forest if i transform into that guy here they wouldn't attack me as well Why did I become a werewolf? All right, I don't know. Uh, but if I set the design on this one here and I transform into this guy, let, let's say you want to do a quest where you have to gather some stuff, but you don't really want to kill mobs. Well, then you can transform into him. And basically now they want to attack you because now you can just run around and, you know, loot, which is an interesting thing. Um, so yeah and you also have a few quests where it tells you transform into a scarab because then the worms will not attack you they will you know they and there's like a quest where you have to like go sneak up to some snakes something like that like worm snakes and then you have to turn into a scarab or something like that so they don't well run away and then when you get close to them you kill them because the moment you use a spell it will uh, 
Oh, I can't use spells here. Oh, okay. But the moment, you, yeah, the moment you use spells, it will transform you out of the form again. You cannot attack while in that form. So that was a little bonus uh, info. But yeah, here's the morphs. This is the forms you can use when you fast travel. You don't have mounts in this game because this is basically your mount. And this is the special you can transform into to avoid fighting. Or you, you will have some quests in the game that will need you to use them. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this little morph video. And um, if you want to watch me live stream this game on Twitch, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Dralen. And I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday uh, and place uh, Throne of Liberty. Thanks for watching.